y'all Fridays, baby. What's going on, peoples? Let me tap everybody in, give everybody the fair opportunity to watch the show. TGI Friday, a lot of shit is going now, man. A lot of shit going down, B. Ah, uh, that should be good right there. Okay, let me see if I can, you know, alert the peoples. Let the peoples know we on. Yes, sir. Kwame Grant, I see you, baby. Salute, man. TGI Friday, man. This is when I uh, salute everybody in the beginning, because once I get started, there's no going back, man. Yeah, man. Hoping everybody a happy Friday, man. Be easy, man. Brian Breezy in the building. I see you, baby. I told you I got you, baby. I, you know, hopefully you win tonight. So make sure you watch the end of the show when I do the little spin off. And if your number's call, baby, you got something going your way, man. Big Breezy in the building. OG, baby. Magic Johnson era. You know how we do it, baby. Don't let me get started. Stormy Norman Nixon, Michael Ray Richardson, Bernard King. Let me chill, baby. Let me chill, because I just keep going. All your 76ers, Bobby Jones, Maurice Cheeks, you know what I mean? Moses Malone, Andrew Tony, Julius Irvin. Come on, baby. You know you're talking to the choir, man. Yeah, yeah, let me let the peoples pile in. Great show coming up. I got I got the dog catcher. Hold up, I got to salute my man. Suge Knight in the building as always, my man. Suge Knight, baby. I see you. Yeah, yeah, Steve Levine in the building as always, man. That's my little man, Steve Levine, man. Steve, don't forget my picture, man. I know you got your gift. Let me let a couple more people tap in. Then we're going to do what we do. JK in the building. Much love, man. I've been behind because I've been super busy, but hopefully you understand. Yeah, let me let a few more, then we're going to start the message of the day. Then we're going to start the show. We have a lot of sports tonight. Hold up, guys. Cable acting up. Let me make sure. We got right now, Denver Nuggets up 18-15 in the first quarter. 56 seconds. It looks like a dead under. Damn, now my TV shut off. Well, y'all got to work with me because the show is more important than the, uh, than the TV. Keep faking the building. I see you, baby. I see you. Denver got an early lead, but it's very early. Miami needs to get this game to make it 2-2. I gave out Denver in six. I would like to see Miami win tonight and then move forward with the next two games. You know what I'm saying? And let Denver win those two. But I'd like to see Miami handle their business tonight, man. Yeah, B, you already know. Brian, you already know. Okay, let's start the message today. I got the room kind of filled up. Raymond Gates in the building. And we're going to start with the message of the day. But let me take it. Let me take off my all those Schwarzeneggers, baby. You know I got to keep those on. All right, message of the day, guys. You know I only hit y'all with the real shit. If it ain't real, I don't fuck with it. Don't treat everyone fucked up. Over one person's mistake. Let me give you an example. Because a lot of y'all, I got to break it down like the spelling bee. Give me a definition. Give me a sentence. So I'm going to give you all that shit. Let's say, for example, you treat people for lunch. Let's just say you're a, a nice person like that. And you treat somebody and then you find out later on. They was talking shit about you. Don't take that on on everybody. You eliminate the fact that it's up. You get rid of that person. But you don't go flip on everybody over one motherfucker's mistake. Because when I used to do security, what used to kill me was, one motherfucker would do some foul shit, and our whole team would suffer. Like it was the military or some shit. Or some full metal jacket shit. I hate that. You take care of the problem and you eliminate it. Everybody should not pay for one person's mistake. That's your message of the day. You know I'm going to keep it gully for y'all, man. Now let's start the show, man. Yeah, yeah. Out your sports. You know every Friday I'm going to give y'all open sessions and giveaways. 
I'm just starting to get my motor up. My motor's not all the way up. You know what I mean? I've been my body's been all over this motherfucker. But I'm here right now to give y'all what I need to give y'all, man. I need to give y'all what I need to give y'all. And that's nothing but the truth that help you talk, man. Real talk, man. I'm not here talking shit. I'm just getting my motor going. I'm rubbing my shit up. Feel me? So, like I said, man, GGI Friday, Al Your Sports, the Raw Truth, wins and losses. You know how I do it. Let's start the show, baby. Yeah. Got to get my engine up, man. Just something about getting my engine up that makes a better show. You know what I'm saying? It's like putting hot sauce on your food, baby. Go to YouTube, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Y'all know what it is. Throw some comments in there, too. A lot of y'all stingy with the comments, man. Throw some motherfucking comments. Make me work. Don't make this shit easy for me. A lot of y'all like to make this shit easy for me. Make me work, man. Shout out to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, New York City, LES to the death. Nueva yo, Nueva yo. Sam the man and studios. That's my little man. I love him to death. Price tag entertainment and media. My man Blue Chips. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I love money and power. The unquestionable devil guard. Mac One Beats. That was one of them right there. Bishop Beats. Uh, open sessions and giveaways. And like I always tell y'all, the more, the merrier. Let's start the show. We're gonna go to the uh we're gonna go to uh, the baseball. Sad news, rest in peace to ex major league pitcher and manager, Roger Craig, not the football Roger Craig, but the baseball Roger Craig. Played for three different championship teams, actually pitched for three different championship teams, and was the manager of the nineteen eighty nine San Francisco Giants with that big earthquake shit. You know what I mean? And uh he died suddenly on Sunday. To an illness that was not presented yet At least I ain't got it yet But rest in peace to Roger Craig I remember watching his San Francisco Giants team With Rick Rushu, Jeffrey Leonard The Candy Man I mean, real great coach Never seen them pitch Rest in peace, Roger Craig Now, you know, I gotta salute the Vegas Knights, baby They was this much away from going 3 nothing At Florida the other night They was up 2-1 with 2 minutes left and couldn't close the deal. Florida scored. Tied to that two. Then Vegas Knight had a power play with like 140 left in OT. Couldn't convert on that. And when that happens, you deserve to lose. 2-1 Vegas Knights. We gain four tomorrow at Florida. And let me tell you all something. It's going to be rocking in Florida. I wouldn't be surprised if the Panthers come back to Vegas in the T-Mobile with a 2-2 tie. Other news. Phoenix Suns finally waived Chris Paul. Uh, he was owed 30.8 M's. And uh, now uh, he's only going to get 15.8 in guarantee. So he's definitely gone. Phoenix Suns had to do something. You know, Chris Paul is an all-time great point guard. But he's known for not winning the chip and not being there when he's needed most. And that's going to be his knock, man. I mean, he got everything else going for him. State Farm commercials. Getting 40 M's a year was averaging 40 M's a year, but he's just going to be known for not being able to close the deal. Other news: the Minnesota Vikings made an interesting move. They let go dual running back Dalvin Cook, released them. They were going to try to trade him for a second time, but they decided to release him. 264 carries, 11, uh, 1,173 yards, eight touchdowns, 4.4 4 .4 average. Dalvin Cook in the right system, folks, is going to prevail. I'm, I'm kind of bugging on this uh, release. Cook is a real good running back. It has to be more to the story because you don't let a guy like Dalvin Cook go. You just don't. Other news. The Buffalo Bills are not playing, man. They need help in the pass rush. They went and got another key member, an ex-ram, Leonard Floyd, who I like personally. Floyd on any side of the corner could, could put pressure right up the middle. If Miller's healthy and you got Floyd, it's going to be problems. They will finally put pressure on the quarterback. One-year deal, basically uh, like about seven, eight ends with incentives. But Floyd will help out the Bills' defense if healthy. Other news. Texas Rangers pitcher Jacob DeGrom. I know the Mets right now are extremely happy they didn't give DeGrom 
the bag. They would give him like 200 amps, 250 amps. And he all he's done has been going three innings, four innings for the Rangers, coming out, arm issues. And now we're hearing Tommy John and 60 day on the IR. Now, if it's officially Tommy John, he might be out for a season, two seasons. So the Mets are real lucky they did not give the Grom the bag. That's what it's looking out now. And, you know, getting Verlander, who's also been hurt, but Verlander ain't got no Tommy John, and he will be able to give the Mets a lot of crucial innings this year. So the Mets did the right thing, not be signing the Grom. Other news. DeAndre Hopkins is going to go to New England this week. He's a free agent. Uh, Arizona let him go. Uh, also, the Titans want to look at him. I hope he don't go with the Titans. He's got to go to a quarterback that could get him the ball. You know, the Titans right now with the with, with the rookie, with the other guy they got, uh, Willis, I don't know if they could get him the ball a lot. Hopkins needs to go to a team like the Jets. Uh, the Jets probably could give him a one-year deal. Let's say maybe about seven, eight mil. They can't give him the back. If you Hopkins... You got Aaron Rodgers over there. You give it a one year, just a one year. Let me see what happens. You already back twenty eight and with Arizona a year for like three years. Go get give give him a discount and try go, and try to go get a chip, bro. Or go to another team that can really use you. You know, I'm not gonna say Kansas City because Kansas City probably can only give you like four M's because they're paying everybody. But a team like the Jets, you probably can sneak about eight nine M's. And try to go for the chip. Now, if you go to a team like the Titans, you could go get your 25, 30 amps. But you're not going to get that on the real good teams because they're not going to get one guy all that money. Salute to D-Hop. Hopefully, he finds a home. Other news. Big dog, I'm going to call you in in one minute. Uh, Cincinnati Reds called up this young boy. I got to talk about this young boy. All this other stuff, I'm going to put to the side. But this Ellie De La Cruz kid. I know it's early. I know it's a small sample. People will be like, yo, Al, you bugging. It's too early. You only played two games. My man, he already hit the furthest home run ever in Cincinnati. He almost hit that shit out the stadium. This is a switch hit his shortstop that nobody was even talking about his power. Then he hit a meteor through the right center for a triple, which should have been a double. Everybody else would have had a double, but this guy's speed, he made it a triple. More of the story. This kid is so talented, switch hitter, speed, power, glove, arm. If if Cincinnati nurtures this guy right, unlike they did with Aquino, this kid could be one of the best sooner than later. But they got to nurture him correctly, whatever that means. Just nurture him correctly. And the Cincinnati Reds, they got a fucking, they got a diamond in the rut with this Ellie De La Cruz kid. This kid is unbelievable. I see some highlights of him. The catches, throw, the way he cuts the bases, the speed, the, uh, the, the power you don't expect. This kid's going to be a stub. Remember that name, Ellie De La Cruz. Big dog, where you at? Let's get him, baby. I wasn't even really re ready for today. Like, man, so much of my plate. I'm like, I'm hoping I could get these guys some business. Hold up. Let me try to get my dog in here. Hopefully I can hear him and I don't have to put the earpieces on. Big dog. Yo, what's happening? Okay, let me put the earpiece. I know you're on the game because I'm on the game. I think I, think I see us. Oh, 3028. Nice. They came back a little bit. You can yeah. hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, let's get right to the game. A lot of people tuning in. A lot of people want to hear some knowledge. 2-1 Denver, Denver Nuggets lead. Um, me and you picked Denver to win this series, but then you, you kind of shifted a little bit. I don't know if you really shifted where you think Miami's going to win or you just thinking Miami's going to go deep. But um, what is your state of mind right now as far as winning the series? Obviously, Denver's the favorite. They were up two games to one. Do you still feel Miami, of course they could win the series, but do you think they could win the series, the dog catcher? We all know it, it depends on this game, but let's just, let's just say. Oh, this game is everything. Because you're yeah, not going to be down 3-1 and have to play two at the ball arena. And expect to win three in a row. That's not going to happen. 
It's either going five or seven. If Denver don't get them in five, they done. I think. So either way, you like Denver to do it then? I like – I think Denver's going to do it. I, I do. I'm going to say – no, you know what? He said, you know why he means he's switching <laughs> up. <laughs> well, you know, I originally liked the East. And and I started with Philly and then I, Boston. I mean, Heat shocked the shit out of me with Boston. So here we are. Right. But, uh, I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I know that this game is going to come down to the wire. I'm pretty sure the spread is going to play with a three, three and a half, two and a half. It's He's a bottle in the building. It's gonna go. It's gonna come somewhere in there, I think. But uh, it. I mean, Joker just got a sprained ankle or something like that, so that might play a factor. You see that? No, I didn't see it. Yeah, Does it look he, severe he, or some like nah, temporary nah. shit? It looked like some one some, game shit. Not even he over there with ice doing. Some or better yet, some Jason like, Tatum shit where it's gonna hurt him today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he's going to fight through it, though. Joker, Joker's tough. So, right, right. You know, I, I mean, if if Denver wins, I think they win by one or two points, something like that. Some, I hope you're right. Murray type shit. I hope you're right. Like yeah. but I, mean, I like I, Denver to win the series, but I, I kind of like Miami with the points tonight. Uh, and, you know, I'm not saying I want De Denver's going to lose the series. I'm just taking the points. If I had it my way, I have, you know, Denver win by two points. You know, I if I had it my way, because I, I got Denver to win in six. I called it. It's not, it's not a magician call. They were favorite. I get it. But I just think being too long, uh, hungry, like I told you, Miami just came out the bubble a couple years ago. Not everybody on that team, but, you know, the organization, the coach, Spolstra, you know, Riley, Alonzo, Haslam, all of them was in that bubble shit. And I just think that Denver right now is now or never for them. Yeah. You're not going to – Get it this good if you the Nuggets. If you lose, if you the Nuggets and you lose this, you ain't never gonna have it this good, big dog. Especially with a two-one lead, home court advantage, and your favorite in the series, and you got Murray playing. For real, he's so, an sucker. But if Miami pulls this off, we might be talking about, you know, Nuggets one of the game. best runs ever in the NBA, where AC comes and just knocks out all the big dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember the last time that happened, big dog. In football, I do when the New York football Giants pulled that off two times in a row as wild cards. But I don't remember yeah, an right. AC NBA team just, you know, running the Never. table, especially against all these better teams. Well, they've proven, though. I mean, they beat they beat Bucks in five in, in Boston. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, and Boston. So, I mean, they're definitely proven. They can they can do it. It just seemed like Denver got their number over the year or two. You know? I right. Mean, Miami's only won, like, once in the last 10 years or some shit like that they was talking about. So, it's just a it's just a tough matchup for them because how big they are. But Yeah, they, they long as fuck, though. Yeah. Yo, Denver's long as they fuck, did, dog. Yeah. Let me give you some numbers real quick from the Denver Nuggets side. You got the uh, the co-MVP, Jokic, 33.3, 14 rebounds, 9.3 assists. Murray, 26, 7 and 10. Gordon, 13, 7 and 3. And for the Miami Heat, Jimmy Buckets, 24 and 7. Bam, 23, 13 and 4. And Vincent, 16, 1 and 3. This is before the night. A couple of numbers and averages I'm giving you. So before we close out this issue right here, big dog, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who wins tonight? Who wins tonight? Yeah. <laughs> let's get let's get right to the point. I like I like Miami to cover, but I think Denver's going to win. Oh, so you with me then? Yeah. You normally not with me. You always got a little twist to your shit. Yeah. Like it sound like you with me, but then you throw a little twist at the end. You feel yeah. me? Right at the end, you know. <laughs> but I don't know, man. They gonna play hard. I just, I just gotta see. I don't know. I just, I don't know. If they pull it off, though, I think it's going seven. They win this. Right, game. right. So okay, so we'll see. Let's go to my next question. Uh, let me see where I put this paper at real quick. Okay, Damian Lillard, right? 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to name you four teams. And it's going to be more than four teams. But I think that I think one of these four, if I have to bet a lot of money, I think it's going to be one of these four teams. When I name them to you, tell me who you like the best and why for Lillard to go to. It's got to make the most sense for my viewers. Mm -hmm. Miami Heat, that's one. Phoenix Suns, that's two. L.A. Lakers, three. And L.A. Clippers, four. Where would D. Dollars end up next year, big dog? Because I'm hearing he's 80% out of Portland, dog. He ain't doing that loyalty shit no more at 33 years old. He wants some jury. He wants to be in the playoffs. Ain't no reason why every fucking year he's watching in the playoffs somewhere, my dude, with all that game. He's, he's the second best point guard in the league, in my opinion. So he should Steph be Curry. watching the motherfucking playoffs at fucking at Buffalo Wild Wings every fucking year, dog. For real. Come on, baby. Or at the game. I've seen him at a couple games. Oh, that hurts. Playoffs. That hurts you there dapping out Floyd Mayweather and um, when they, you know they laughing at you like, nigga, you ain't never been in the playoffs. All that, you yeah. know, all that nice shit, but you can't get in and win nothing. I might as well call you Chris Paul without the playoffs, homie. But go ahead, yeah, dog. Which, um, out of them four teams, who and why? I I, I don't like Phoenix because what they got over there, it's just too much going on over there. I don't like the Lakers just because I don't think he'll play well with LeBron like that. Oh, um, wow. I see something uh, over there with Lillard Dame, and LeBron. Dame, Dame's a scoring PG. He's not a setup guy. He 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 get his money. No, that's so, what I'm saying. I can see I can see LeBron, what's the word, like deferring a little bit with him. I can see that, especially well, he's if he's canning shit. I mean, yeah, he defer I mean, with fucking Reeves and fucking Archer Moore. What make you think he won't defer with this kid? Yeah, but if you think about it, if you think about it, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, 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 D'Lo was as a scoring PG, and LeBron didn't like that shit. Just D'Lo was fucking fronting, man. He was coming up short, man. <laughs> but in the regular but season, you see D'Lo lighting it up. They was giving him the ball. In the playoffs, yeah. he couldn't do shit. He had seven points in the last series, dog. And you're supposed to be like a, a point guard scorer. That's true. Vanderbilt coming off the bench is averaging the same as him, dog. And we ain't even hear Vanderbilt's <laughs> name. Yeah, so yeah, Ben, though, that's crazy. Give me a team, dog. I like I like them to go to Miami, just because of the, the the style of play. Um, Miami has tradable pieces. They got some guards. But yeah. Then again, Portland got guard or wing play and guard play. <coughs> so Bor Portland need more of a a solid big. Nurkic he always mm. hurt, you know. And and he's not he's not as good on offense, so I think that's the issue with that. I think Miami got the pieces. Of course, if you trade a point guard, you're gonna have to give up. So I can see Vincent going. They might want Kayla Martin, and and, and Kayla Martin might be the Mikhail Bridges of the Kevin Durant deal. If you Miami, you, you want to keep Martin, right? You understand me? Yeah, but you got to get rid of Vincent, though. No, Vincent's gone. He's a tradable piece. No, he's gone. He's doing good. Yeah. They're going to be some draft choices, but uh, Portland's going to want now players. So, I mean, it might, be, it might be Hero or Olo Depot packaged up. Yeah. You know, then you keep, you keep Duncan Robinson off the bench, and then maybe add another play. I don't know who it's going to be, but they're going to have to add, like, maybe throw some picks in there. And they might have, I think Caleb Martin is going to be the piece that Portland really wants. So they might have to give up Martin. And that's going to be big for Miami because you need a guy that can come off the bench and do it. And we've seen Martin shine, especially but in that think, Boston. I don't think Marlon would do well on another team. No, He's but that's a, for them to find out, though. You know, that's not for us. That's for them to find out. Because, oh, uh, well, yeah. He, so he has some well big ass shots, though, against Boston. He, he was out there looking like he was making 30 M's a game. I mean, 30 M's a year, dog. I mean, he you did. can't tell me he didn't save them in that series, dog. Oh, he he, he was a, he was an X factor. Oh, he was series, for sure. Funny. I mean, when it mattered, he made he them shots, bro. Yeah, he made those shots, bro. 
So, okay, so you're going to say Miami. I'm going to agree with Miami, but I like them. I love her with KD, you know, and, and Booker. I know it's too many mouths to feed, but I think Lillard can defer knowing that now he's going to be in the playoffs and he has an opportunity for a chip. So I can see him yeah, deferring but, a little bit, but you do got too many shooters over there. I would agree to that. You might yeah, need a, you, That's why I think Paul was a perfect fit. Yeah. Winehurst, I don't know if you heard, they, he, he said uh, NBA's working on uh, uh, breaking up that dynasty fucking super team shit. So I don't know. They're not going to be able to do that because you'll have guys know, that man. will take less just to try to get a chip. So, nah, I mean, how do you break it up? It. Like, they're going to freak you. They're going to find yeah. a way. Yeah, I mean, you get a guy to take 10 mil, you can't. You can't say he can't go. It's going to be some kind of rank involved, I think. Like, some kind of, I don't know, like, like level. I don't know. We're going to see, but I think they're going to be able to get it done. Right, right. Okay, so we got about four or five minutes before I bring in uh, my man, the X-Man, the hater. I want you to name me the Mount Rushmore for point guards in the NBA. Point guards, point guards only. No shooting guard, point guard, no forwards, all point guards. And all the fashion if possible. Now you got, okay, I'm going to try, but. Nah, you, I, I, I got faith you in gotta you. Remember, but you got to remember, we, everybody, different eras or whatever. So different ain't no ages, right, though. It ain't no right or wrong answers. As long as you don't leave like a main do out, some obvious do out, then you all good, but. We all going to yeah, have different I mean, opinions some, on one or two heads. Some, some guys might have, like, Pistol Pete or some shit like that. But anyway, um, I, I'll say Allen Iverson. Okay. I'll say Allen Iverson is my my, my top PG. Um, even though he ain't won a chip, most assists, I'm going with uh, uh, John Stockton. Okay, I like I that. Post, uh, uh, John Stockton. Um, He's a pure point guard too. Pure point guard. Yeah, I gotta throw. I gotta throw in the best shooter ever, known to man, Steph Curry. Okay, that's I'm three. A, I'm gonna throw Curry in there. And, and people, then, uh, whoever's looking, you could put your own little list. I want you to contribute. There's no wrong answers. Put your own little list. We'll look at it. And then I want. Uh, I'd say. Um, uh, uh, shit. He ain't got a chip either. I'm gonna throw Chris Paul in there, man. He got MVP. Okay. MVP. I, I like Chris Paul. Fuck it. Okay. Those four right there. All right. I'm gonna name you my four. Can't see, forget Magic, Irvin Magic, Magic Johnson. Irvin Magic Johnson's my guy. He, he was a point forward though, so he wasn't like nah, he's point guard. Point guard though. I, I, I know what you're saying. Forward. Yeah, but we all know point guard that could do it all. You know what I'm saying? Magic, Man, don't, nobody yeah, passed but, the ball like Magic Johnson. I mean, you had guys that were pretty, like White Chocolate, Pistol Pete, yeah. But Magic, yeah. Magic had me jumping out the seats like he was dunking the ball, dog. So I got I, Magic. You know what I mean? He can shoot though. He can shoot. Nah, he the ball. got better as as he progressed later. Oh, no, no, in the no, beginning, he not shoot the ball. No, in the beginning he couldn't. But yo, dog, he was so dominant doing rebounding and going down low on yeah, the guard that it didn't even matter. Shot. Yeah, it didn't even show, matter, dog. But he could not but, shoot the ball. Dog, you right. sitting in that all-star game, he hit that three on your man, right? That's what uh, he know. He was nice after that. He was learning how to shoot. But anyway, I got magic. I got magic. My second guy, I think you left out. Uh, very underrated, one of the greatest point guard ever. Could score, can play D, was tough. And he hit you with a bullshit smile. Isaiah Thomas, a.k.a. Zeke. I, I love Isaiah that. Thomas, Detroit Pistons, bad boys. Uh, I hate to put a current guy when you got a lot of guys that already finished their career, but you got to put this guy. This guy's just so dominant. You just got to put him in. Stephen Curry. There's no way I cannot get Curry in there. And then I'm busting my head between Gary Payton in the glove that could do it both ways and AI. So I'm going to go with ah. AI. I'm going with AI. But trust right. me, as I tell you, it's not an easy pick because Peyton does it on both sides. They don't call him the gloves for making cookies, dog. The guy could D up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I'm going to run with Iverson because Ivan Iverson 
changed the game too. He had people dressing like him, looking like him. You know, you remember that shit when AI came with the corn rolls and all that? Yeah. You know, he changed it up. And, and not only that, he's most remembered for crossing up Jordan and yeah. made the shot on top oh, of that. He did. he did that. You know he what I'm saying? That. So that's my four. You guys, if you got four, shoot them out. Listen, there's no right and wrong answers. Participate. You're not going to knock you for participating. Dog, anything you want to add on, any sport question, anything that's roaming on your head, I I would like you to bring something up that I might have left out or any interest that you have in sport in the sports world. Uh, who, who you like tomorrow? You think Amanda going to win? Who? Amanda Nunez. Oh, I, I can't go against that girl, man. You think she going to win? What's done? the line on that? $3. $3 on her? Yeah. I de definitely can't go against her. Yeah. yeah. I can't go against her. I mean, I know no. you. You like, you, that's why we call you the dog catcher. You but probably I like the know. underdog. I don't, I would, I, I, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. I'm just curious. Cause I, didn't she lose to her or some shit? Be honest with you, I haven't looked that deep. I've been on, stuck on baseball, basketball, hockey. Okay. Even tennis I've been looking at lately. You you seen that yeah. yesterday. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really look into that to that uh that fighting, you know. Yeah, okay. MMA, okay, whatever. Okay. But um it, I know she's a great fighter. Uh I remember when she beat up my home girl that was undefeated. Uh, oh. she tore her up in less than two minutes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Girl. The girl. What's her one, name the again? One. Uh, uh I don't know, the one that went Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, Ronda some shit, Ronda but anyway. Rose. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> she tore yeah. up. You know what's funny? I took over one and a half rounds. Oh, no. I'm meeting at the steakhouse with wifey, right? Yeah. And I remember debating if I should put a nickel or 250 on it. Lucky I put 250, yeah. but I lost that shit like in 30 seconds, big dog. Shoot. Yo, as soon as I sit down, I put the fight. You know how like in the phone, it got the red person? The red yeah. person mean they lost? Red They'll show and both of them, and they had, you know, they had the, uh, the Rosen shorty all red. I'm like, damn, I lost already? But um, that's New Year's for you, man. New Year's is an animal. She's been touching that money, so she's not as, as wanted it as before. You know how it is. Once you get Working that bag. Working on family, too. Yeah, once you get that bag, you tend to slack. It's only right. You got to live a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Ronda Rousey. That's her yeah, yeah, you got to live a little bit. You understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you, J.K., mm -hmm. We, we got it right, but we didn't get the whole name. But yeah. thank you anyway. Thank you anyway. But everybody know who we meant. But uh, yeah. New Year's whipped her ass. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> whipped her ass. Do sure. hands on her. I know you seen sure. her tapping her. Bow, bow. I tapping did. her. Yo, Rosie, like she had no hands. Right. Right. It she really just, had no it, hands. It, she it, on it, that it, grabbing it, submission kind of shit. That shit didn't work with Nunez. She was walking right into that shit. Exactly. And she couldn't eat no more because they fed her too much. Big dog, a pleasure as always. Right. <laughs> Hit me All up right. in a little while. We gonna holler. And uh, let's get these games in, baby. All right, baby. All right, big dog. All right. X-Man, we calling for you. Uh, Big dog, great job as always. Sam Seven in the building. We got Ponce in the building. Sabato in the building. JK in the building. I'm going to shout you out as I'm going. Let me see if I get the X-Man in myself because X-Man be having like some 10 year ago phone that the shit barely worked. Hold up. See if I can get him in. Oh, it might work. I'm going to give you an update. Yankees losing three to two, bottom of the ninth, two outs, two mans on base. And Mets are getting spanked 12 to two. Okay, there you so go. We got the that. x man in the building. Yankees down to their last out. Volpe's up. 3-2 West Sox. First and second. 2-1 count. And right here, the Denver Nuggets are up. 48-43 with 2.41 left in the first half. X-Man, what's going on? What's up, my brother? How's everything? Okay, everything is everything. I appreciate you asking. But real quick, give me, give, give me what's your opinion on what's going on here in this series. I normally don't bring you into the NBA. I like I like putting you for football and baseball. But I know you know about this stuff. So what's your take on this series so far? 2-1 Nuggets at South Beach and Denver's winning in the first half. What's your take on this series, bro? Series going good so far. Um, 
Miami showing a lot of heart. Show I, your you know, face, man. You got a nice haircut. Now on. you don't want to oh, show it. My haircut. Come on, when you man. all stop, woofy, stop. you want to be all on the camera. But now you fresh <laughs> and you want to hide, dog. What no, if you don't I, like I, being I, fresh? What if you scared about some? Good. Yo, you got somebody coming after you for child support or something? <laughs> uh, never, never, never. never uh, okay, bro, okay. Never. <laughs> all right. Uh, series is going good. I think uh, Miami, they, they need oh to Oh, my God. Through. Volpe just missed a three-run shot by inches. Oh, by oh my Lord. inches to win the game. Yeah, hey, don't talk to me. Uh, series is going good. I think, you know, Miami needs a couple of their role players to really step up to help Bam and uh, Jimmy Butler. Oh, we, they don't uh, that. Sussing them got to step uh, up. So, you know, but, but you know, they, they, they cannot let Jamal Murray and Joe Kick get triple doubles on Just them. Just do what they again. want. They, yeah, they they, they 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 need they need they need somebody to at least slow down Jamal Murray, which should be Jimmy Butler. But uh, I think the series is good. I think Miami showing a lot of heart. Um, but you know, you know if one of the key players like Caleb Martin or Duncan Robinson can get hot and help Jimmy and Bam, we're gonna have a different series. I took the Nuggets in seven. I think Miami needs to tie it tonight. They can't afford to go to Game Five down three one to Denver. They're not gonna win. Oh, that's that's a definite. Um. And they're not going to stretch the series either like they did no. against the Celtics. No. Uh, Denver not playing around. Denver got them pinned. Denver's going to get it to submission. But my thing is Miami has to split at home. And yeah. they have to win game four to take it back to ball arena tied 2-2. Two, two. If it's 3-1, uh, Denver I might close them out way. over there. They might just fucking close them out over I there. I'll be honest. I think Miami needs to win the next two games to bring it back to Miami up 3-2. I think if Miami, can I don't want to see that because I got Denver in six, yeah. so that's I, just too yeah. much pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, let me get the I lead. I don't want to be down and hey, shit. I just want to see a seven game series, brother. <laughs> oh, I got you, but I want to win. So while you want to see, I want to win. I hear you. Okay, so I hear you. I hear you. Uh, good, good take on that series, real quick. Now let's shift over to baseball to my baseball guy, Brian Ford, just tapped in the building. Big, big baseball guy. Brian Ford loves baseball. Give me your most surprising team, in your opinion, and why. I want to know why you think they're the most surprising, but good. Then I got the same question for a team that's underachieving. Ooh, my most surprising team right now has to be the Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay. I mean, you know, look what they're doing. Young players, you know, good young pitching staff. They're hitting. The, you know, Andrew McCutcheon is back. And we know we know how many good years he had in Pittsburgh when he played there the first time. Right, good veteran to have around them. Good young veteran girls. to have around. Great, great veteran yeah. to have around. And they got a good mixture of, of young talent and veteran players that that know the game well. Yeah, they so got Santana, Pittsburgh... the old Cleveland uh, Indian catcher, yeah. converted first baseman. He's over there. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll help out over okay. there. I mean, they got a lot of young young guys, but they 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 getting better though. I think that guy Brian Reynolds is a guy that Yankees yeah Reynolds is nice. I like season. Reynolds. I yeah. thought the Yankees should have made a trade for him in the offseason. Brian Reynolds, he's right. stepping it up. And remember, they're getting O'Neill Cruz back soon. Yeah, like I was wondering what happened to that he kid, the, man. The broken ankle. Oh, okay. At the beginning of the year. So he'll, he'll he ain't be coming back, back soon. Who come back, back from a broken around, apple in and, and a half a season? I think he, uh, they say he should be back in the middle see, of the year. See, T.O. T.O. broke his shit with like five games left and then yeah. played in the Super Bowl. Remember yeah. that shit? But they say he should be he should be coming back between uh, the middle the middle and end of August. Look on the building, I see you. Okay, so they definitely need that young boy. Yeah. They got also a veteran pitcher, Rich Hill, which mm -hmm. is good. Rich Hill is like forty plus. A lot of young guys. Contreras, he Ortiz. Down the tonight, Rich Hill, as a yeah. matter of fact. Yeah, they got Contreras, <laughs> Ortiz. Though Contreras gave up seven runs yesterday to the A's, yeah. which was embarrassing. But it is what it is. It is what it is. But okay, okay, I'm going to go with the Texas Rangers. And what really makes me like the Rangers is that pitch. they best pitcher hasn't been involved in this run, which yeah. is Jacob DeGrom, yeah. which I know all the New York Mets fans, I said at the beginning of the show, are probably just clapping and, and happy as hell that they didn't give him the bag. I am a DeGrom fan. You I, know I'm a DeGrom fan. I, I love I'm DeGrom. Fan. I love but I didn't see this but coming. I agree with you, and I agree with that. Don't give them the bag because – but I think this has been going on for a few years now, and the Mets, Mets misdiagnosed it because the last few years, he's been going down with the same arm injury. Yeah. So this has been going down for a while. I think the Mets training staff misdiagnosed it. I think the Rangers got it 
right? I said it from last year. He should have gotten Tommy John surgery the year before. Damn. But now, is Mets, it guaranteed the, the Tommy the John? The Mets, the Mets or the Mets? Yeah, is so it guaranteed? Is it is it guaranteed Tommy John? Because I'm hearing 60 day. Tommy John ain't 60 days. No, no, that, that that's just to put him on the injured list. That's just on the injured list. You know, they can't say he's out. For, he's out for the year. It's definitely Tommy John because at oh, the beginning of the year, done. Robbie Ray, Robbie Ray for Seattle went down. They put him on the 60 day. He had. Oh, Tommy I got John you. Also. I got you. I got you. So, that's just a so, fitness speech, but yeah, got the Tommy John. And let me tell you something. Oh, the Mets are happy right now. They end up yep. getting Verlander two years, 50, what, 50 M's, 100 M's for two years, 50 M's a year. But Verlander missed a little bit, but you know Verlander's going to get you innings. Yeah. He's not looking good yet. He's not looking good. But, but I'm telling you good. right now, Verlander will come back. He's a really good pitcher. And in that big park with the Mets be playing at City Bank. Yeah. Uh, well, him, and Scher him and Scherzer are not playing well. That's why the Mets no, Scherzer are pitched all right the other yeah, he day. He did I pitch think. all right, but but, but he hasn't pitched Max Scherzer in like... No doubt, no season. doubt, because they both coming off injuries, yeah. you know. So you got to give that a little break, but they will come around. A lot of people thinking they got too much mileage. They owe. They just, yeah. just let them get comfortable. I guarantee you after midseason, these guys are going to be like something. Listen, it's not easy to play in New York. Anybody that, knows that. Not easy also, to play in New York. That also. Okay, now we're going to shift over. Give me your most disappointing team, X. I got two. I got two. One of them is, of course, the New York Mets, who haven't played, <laughs> played up to expectations like people expected to after last year. So they're about to go 30 and 34, four games under 500. So that's one thing. The Mets are killing themselves. Their pitching staff has allowed 80 home runs, or I believe more than 80 home runs this year now. So, and that leads the league. You can't have that kind of pitching and expect to win. Two, right. Peter Alonso goes out for four weeks, wrist injury. He got hit in uh he got hit in the wrist the other night against Atlanta. And you know, the, the offense is just a mess. It's just a mess. That's it. You know, yeah, what's going on? Not what's going on with my shortstop over there, man? What's going on? Yeah, he's yeah what's great, going on with Lindor? He's he got me a Reyes. Offensive but... numbers, but he can't hit. He's hitting he's hitting under uh 215. Well, he hit a, a home run today, but I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where his hitting went. He hit well last year. And, uh, you know, he's putting up good run numbers, he's bringing in runs, but I don't know what's going on with him. I really don't know. Yeah, and the polar bear can't do everything. Yeah. You know. I, I mean, it, it's a whole team thing. You Nemo, know, Nemo's kicking Nemo, ass. Nemo, Nemo's doing his thing. but Yeah, he's kicking ass, but, he, you know, he's a leadoff hitter. McNeil isn't hitting. Right. Um, Lindor isn't hitting. Marte is now starting to right. hit, right. you know. Um, who else? Um, How know, about Baby? got the three kids. You got the three kids that came up, Francisco Alvarez. He's going yeah, to be a catch up. He's going to be a very good ball player. Yeah, he's trying. So he like, like, like he's trying to do too much right now, though. Yeah, I, I think he's trying. Yeah, I think yeah. He like, needs somebody need to sit him down and say, "Hey, little, little man, chill the fuck out. You trying to do man. too much? <laughs> yeah, you trying to do too much, my nigga. Like, yeah, just ease up a little bit. I like Brett Beatty. I like Brett Beatty. Facts, but you know he's he's still working out. His you know it's a good thing he has. Eduardo Escobar to back him up to show him the ropes and stuff. Right, right. So I think that's good for him. And they they just don't play Mark Vientos. I like Mark Vientos, but they don't play right. him enough. You know? Right, right. I, and remember, y'all lost your yo, y'all lost your closer. I don't trust Robinson like that, dog. Yeah. Well, you know, Diaz this is a beast. He got hit. You know, Diaz started it right. off rough, but then he became a beast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, they, he, he was such a beast. They made a song for him. Mm -hmm. Every time he came out, that song, and everybody used to go crazy, right or wrong? No. Okay, so right. who's your, who's your second right. team? We got six minutes. Who's your second team? My second team, of course, has to be the San Diego Padres. Yeah. Let's okay, ride out, because that's my team that's with underachieving. All the money, with all the money they spent, they were the sexy pick to make the World Series and win it. They're barely holding on to a, a fourth place in, in the National League West. Okay. Right. Well, well, what I think with them, I think they pasting easy. They're keeping their players healthy. Uh, you notice Gary Sanchez went over there and started kicking ass real quick. Yeah, ain't that something? Yeah, <laughs> you know why? When you got a lineup like that, he's going to get pitches. He's getting pitches over there. You know, you still got to hit the ball. But when I tell people that they go to Al, Al, what you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that they got so many good hitters that they ain't trying to walk them. So by them not trying to walk them, they're giving him pitches that are very serviceable for him to hit and hit real now, hard. Remember, and he's capitalizing. Now, I remember San Diego had a lot of injuries early on. Now they got Tatis back. 
Manny Machado should be coming back soon. Right. Their pitching staff is getting healthy. So, I, you know. That's what I, I'm I think saying. They're going to, gonna, listen, that, they're not nervous. No, they're not. One nervous. thing about baseball is a long season. You could start slow. They'd rather be healthy than have a better record and not be healthy. Baseball baseball's a marathon. We exactly. All know it's exactly. And let me tell you something. Now, I want to throw one more team in there that I thought. But let me say something before you throw one more team. I love that kid, Fernando Tatis. I thought I didn't like him I after that too. suspension. I do too. Yo, I've, been, I've been having a, you know, the privilege to watch him more than often because, you know, I'm in the West Coast. They give yeah. up the San Diego games. I love that kid. He's in right field. Nothing gets by him. Nothing. He's got a fucking Roberto Clemente arm. Not exactly like, but He's similar. You know what I mean? The guy yeah. gets on base. The guy got Jack in his back. Could take you deep. But I, I think they and I was me and my man when we were talking one time on the show, we were saying they can use him for trade bait and get a lot of people back. But you know what? I don't think I want to touch Tatis, dog. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not, I, I might I sound crazy. I'd rather trade Soto than Tatis. And I love Soto. Well, they got Soto until next year. I love Soto. But I just think Tatis fits better there. Soto so. could go to like the Yankees but and go nuts. You know that, you right? Also notice, you also notice when Tatis came back, Soto's bat started heating up. Yeah. Because he was struggling at the big Yeah, game. because once Tatis now got they're getting pitches. Lineup, yeah. Once Tatis they're getting got pitches. That, that whole lineup is heating. stacked. He had his first Yo, that, 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 that Asian guy can be hitting bullets. Yeah. Only easy out over there was Nola. But now you got Sanchez, he ain't an easy out. He ain't an easy out. And you got Bogart. Bogart is starting to hit well. Too. Oh, X-Man. I love X-Man. Oh, he nice over there, dog. I know you feeling him. That's your boy, baby. He got Man, that X Bogart, in front yeah. of his joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know that, you feel that, him. That, that okay, was, listen. Was, you know, but I'm just, you know, for the money they spent, they should be playing better. But you're right. They're probably keeping everybody healthy in time. Second half of the season, they're going to make their run. They just paced it. Yeah, they just. They paced it, but when they're ready to go, they're going to go, dog. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Machado is fucking sick, too, dog. He's yeah. the veteran in their team. Though they got older guys like Sanchez and Cruz, you know, that are older, but yeah, exactly. Machado's the guy on the field every day that's the veteran guy. And then you got Bogarts that, you know, that been winning, won chips and all that. So they got a nice mixture of everything. And they pitch. Yeah. pitching. We ain't even talk about they yeah. pitching. Pitching is starting you know, to get healthy. It's Michael get Walker's healthy. a sleeper. Musgrove, he ain't what he used to be. Yeah. Snell usually starts bad, has a good second half. Yeah. So they will improve. And, and, and Darvish. And, and that bullpen, that bullpen's pretty nasty. Yeah, Josh they got Hader they got like, good arms in the Josh bullpen. Hader looks like he's back to the Josh Hader of Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. And they got another wild lefty guy, good. tall guy yeah. with heat in there, too. So they set up to win in the long run. So I'm not worried yeah. about the Padres. Yeah. But as of right now, it's fair to say, they're the most, like, one of the most disappointing teams as far as right their record they are, yes. and right their now, expectations. Yeah. Between them, the Mets, and one more team, Philadelphia. They starting to get hot, the though. Phillies, no, they, they've been disappointing. Oh, yeah. They have it. Yeah, they, but Trey Turner is going to start have, hitting. The strength of their team was supposed to be their pitching staff. They've been getting smacked around. So well, I think I'm telling are, you right now. I, they, I thought the Phillies were going to be a lot better being that they went to the World Series last year. They made some key pickups, and they haven't played well at all. Yeah, Kyle yeah, Schwarber, but they, Kyle but I see it. They're going to so turn it hit. around. They got the nucleus, and they got Harper back. Harper's going to enlighten them. Yeah, look so the, think, look I, yesterday. I he got that double. He got that double with a knife in it. Hold on. Let me get a word. Let me get a word. They got a double with a knife in it. Harper set it off. I don't care if it was against a bad team. They came back and won late. That was big for them. You got to beat those teams. The bad yeah. teams are the teams you have to beat. Exactly. So and, and, and I, I think see... the Phillies have a lot of ground to make up, though. They're lucky that the that NL East is terrible. You know, Atlanta's dominating. You know, I think uh, uh, Miami's another surprise team on how they played. This a lot year. of good young arms. Got a, got a lot of good young arms. And their best pitcher hasn't even pitched well yet. And that's Sandy Alcantara. Alcantara, yep. Okay. Um... But I, I, you know that kid, uh, 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 Reyes, he's tearing it up, yeah. man. He's almost. Reyes was from Minnesota, batting champ. Yeah. But like I told my man, he's like, why would they trade him? They needed an arm and prospect. So you got to give. Listen, you got to give him something good to get something yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's you just do. what it is. You so Reyes right. being a batting champ, it hurt it. 
But you got Lopez, who's a good starter, who hasn't really pitched good yet. Yeah. They got marvelous stuff. And then I think they got some prospects that are supposed to be really good soon. You know? And they also oh. got Jorge, Jorge. It helps that Jorge Soler has finally heated up and he's hitting. Like he's capable yeah. of. Yeah, they got so, Cooper. They got a lot of nice they, guys they over there. Perez, young players there. the young pitcher Perez is good. I like uh, Cabrera. Cabrera's nice. Yeah. You no, understand? They got some good young Spanish arms they do. They, in, in they, Miami, they dog. They got a lot of good young arms. But that's a team you're going to look out for in the second half. Yeah, the they, put it got, like this. They're not going to win much, but they're going to be spoilers come late. Oh, yeah. They, they, they're going to knock somebody off. The Mets. They're going to knock somebody off. Mets going to make a run. They're going to knock oh, the Mets know, right man. out. <laughs> the Mets are good for that, brother. Hey, Listen, hey, the, we know, got the, two the, minutes. The we got two minutes. I got to ask you this before I do my spinoff. Aaron Rodgers, New York football Jets. I'm going to give you one, two, and three. Which one you think happens? Do the Jets win 11 plus games? Right? Hold up. Okay. Do the Jets get one playoff win? Okay. Or none of the above? And explain why either way. The Jets get, the Jets are good for 10 wins. I didn't ask that. I said pick one of the three. Okay. The Jets are good for 11 wins. I'll tell you that right now. 11 plus wins? I think 11 plus wins. They're not going to. I think they'll win 11 on the dot. Okay. So we're 11. talking Aaron 11 and 6 that. in a 17 game season. You're saying the Jets are going to go 11 and 6. You got to look at that. AFC East is tough. You got Buffalo, Miami's coming. They're all up. tough over there. Now, the, the, what has saved the Jets, the, the Jets defense is championship caliber. We'll the, see. The, the, I we'll wish see. They were already. They need to sign Quentin Williams. Yeah. I think to me, he's the best young interior defensive lineman in the game. He can stop. I the love run. Sauce. Sauce is he, the best he, cornerback. He, well, Sauce is one of the top cornerbacks in the league so far, you know. But um, I think Aaron Rodgers will take them to 11 wins. Um, what happens after that, we'll, we'll see. But Yo, what's my guy's wins. name? I, Bruce Watt? Yo, Bruce Watt? The running back, what's it, Bruce Hall? Bruce Hall is coming Yo, back. Yo, Bruce Hall, let me tell you something. I've seen about four or five games with Bruce Hall, dog. Yeah. Dog, he's a fucking animal. He's a beast. He's a beast. He I ate the, the fucking Jets, Packers up last year. No, no. The Jets have a good running Yo, back. Yo, Hall is fucking him. nice, dog. But he has to be back to Bruce Hall because that injury, you don't know what he is. Yeah. Well, with Bruce Hall, they got a good running back combination with him and Michael Carter. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. I think him and Michael Carter. You bring them in, you know, Brees Hall. You know, you're gonna bring him along slowly because he's just coming off that knee injury, so he's not gonna get a lot of uh, a lot a lot of carries as you know the first couple games of the year. But with yeah. Michael Carter, you got you know a guy that can he's fast, so he can get the holes fast. And nah, they got a great one-two punch, dog. The Jets go. The Jets go as their defense goes. I don't think it's gonna be much on Rodgers. I mean, he's got the weapons with Garrett Wilson. They signed Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb. They got yep. Corey Davis. You know, the Jets still need a, a, a tight end, but I think they're going to I be think Davis is team. gone, but they got everybody else. They got everybody. And, if, you know, like, if, they can get the, if they can get DeAndre Hopkins. I just said the that one year. Just get him for one year. Make a run at it. What you need? One Yo, Doug, listen. You you're not going to let me. I'm not going to finish my spin off if I keep talking to you. So give me your last words, X. One thing. I appreciate you having me on, you know, got it. I didn't get, I didn't get to hate much today, but it's all right. Though. <laughs> you know, I do it during the week. But right, right, more, right, right. One, one more thing: Magic, Stockton, Isaiah Curry. Those are the Mount Rushmore point guards. You, Chris you, Paul, you got nowhere. everything I got, but you added Stockton. Chris okay, I'm not mad. Paul, Chris Paul comes nowhere near that Mount Rushmore <laughs> at all, at all. Okay. All righty. All right, brother. All right, listen. Good job. Me, good job as always. X, uh, keep it coming and keep your uh, keep your eyes open because I'm gonna be hitting you up more than what you're thinking, brother. <laughs> all right, and brother, have no your problem, barber man. nearby. I don't want to see hair coming out your nose and all that shit. Listen, brother. It's not good listen, for the show, baby. Outside. It's getting hot outside. So I... <laughs> it's, all it's right, a yo. Kind of different story, brother. <laughs> yo, X me out real quick, X. I'll... All right, brother. Thanks. Well, I have a good one, X, right, my brother. Too. Okay. All right.
Okay, guys, time for the spinoff. Let me see if X can figure it out because he has to do it on his side. There we go. X figured it. Let's get this going because we don't have too much time. And let the best person win. I do it. Round four, giveaway one. Let's get it. I see you, Lord God. I see you. I know you're still there. Don't think I don't acknowledge that you're still there. It ain't news to me, though, because you always rock. One through 20, guys. One through 20. Uh, great show. Good job, Big Dog. NBA Finals. Mount Rushmore. I ain't going to lie. Fuck me up with this ball, but that's what he feel. Listen, man. Everybody the title so they own opinion. Like I told y'all, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. So you can't be mad. Okay. One through 20. Let me uh, marinate them a little bit. Let me get the shake and bacon. What's all we looking for? If it comes out unorthodox, no play. I'm the umpire of this shit. Here we go. One more, one more, holy giveaway one. Round four, winner is. Got it. I know you see it. Let me back it up a little bit. See the red four, right? The winner, giveaway one, round four. TGI Friday, June 9th is. Number 19. 19. We got my man, L.E.S. Sess, baby. Sess in the building, J. Boogie brother. Let's go. Big Sess, baby. That might be a second in uh, round four, maybe even three. I got to look it up. Oh, Big Sess going to be open. Right, let me have you up. We got one more to do. Be the producer. Okay, giveaway two. Twenty one through forty. Big sets number nineteen. Giveaway one win or six nine.
Now let's close up the show, baby. Sess and Big Fan, all you with us. Let me close it out. Got less than a minute. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. Every Friday we do, you know, open sessions and giveaways. We ended up with the spin-off. You know I'm here for y'all. I'm going to bring y'all, you know, good product every week. That's what I do. I'm going to give y'all everything I got. That's how I do it. And anybody out there looking, don't be afraid to invest, man, on your boy, man. I'm telling you, whatever you put up, man, I triple, quadruple that shit. Believe me, man, I'm not talking smoke. Man. I'm talk I'm not capping. I'm talking 100%, man. Give me the opportunity to go see Stephen A. Smith. I want that opportunity. Put me in front of him. I'll set it off. That's what word of everything I love. The reason why I call him out, because I'm hearing he's the best dude. I want the best dude. I don't want Max telling me. I don't want Skip Bayless. Give me the best guy out there. I don't want Shannon Sharp. Give me Stephen A. Smith. I'm calling him out. Y'all forward my shit. Y'all share my shit. Let him hear it. Please. And with that, y'all hold your head. Now your sports to raw truth. I love y'all, man. Y'all already know what it is. No drinking and driving. It's the fucking law.